everybody, Anne here, sitting here on my porch having coffee with all of you, and I got myself a new hat at the Dollar Tree. Yep, it's Memorial Day weekend, and I thought I'd get a little patriotic, and it's a little chilly outside, so I got my, this little jean jacket on that my mom got me from Goodwill while she was out here. Anyhow, the new baby chicks are doing great. The older baby chicks are doing great. Uh, Miss Pris Fancy Pants is still sitting on the nest. But there is exciting news going on across the street. Feel on her. See how many eggs she got on her. She'll let you touch her. I will. She, uh, know, she knows us. I'm at Mr. Lucas Pen, and it looks like he's got a pretty hand. Look at her. Look at how flat she is. Look at that. So I'm going to lift her off and see how many eggs she's got. I may add this one. It depends on how many she's got. got. There you go. Just hold it. Don't press the screen. All right. All right. I don't know nothing about this stuff. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and take her off. It's okay. It's okay. That's her babies. Set her right in there. Okay. I'm going to mark your eggs for you. All right. We're going to hatch you out one white one, Mr. Lucas. I'm just going to draw a circle all the way around so okay. that you could see it. No matter what, how she turns it. There we go. So when you go check the eggs in the morning, she'll get off this nest once a day. And they're laying this in if she don't get up. There's... No, they'll lay in the same box. Because chickens are weird like that. I don't like them messing with her. <laughs> I know it. But you, you just gotta let it let it go. This is what I do every morning. I come and check these, check uh, Miss Pris Fancy Pants, what's underneath of her, and I take out the new eggs that aren't marked. And there's only two leg horns. How many we got in there? Hang on. Six, right? That's all we need, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All right. She's definitely broody. There's no, no ifs, ands, or buts. All right. She's a sweet little girl. She is. She is a sweet little girl. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I want her to get some water, too. She'll get water. All right. So, she's just, yeah, point down at her. She, she knows will get, uh, She knows you and I. Anybody else? Nobody. They get scared of them. Right. She is going to sit on this nest for 21 days. When did she start sitting? Today, or actually. Today. Okay. Mainly. So, today is day one. I'm going to put on my calendar and mark every single day that she's sitting so that we'll know when it's about to happen. Um, she'll get off the nest once a day to poop and to eat and drink. Well, I'll put some water right there behind you. Okay, what you might want to do is get her a little bit of feed as well. And just put I it... I'd drop some over in the nest with it while it goes. I would put it in something that doesn't get wet. I would, I would just get another one of these because it's been raining so much and just put some the feed down in there. Eat it. That's okay. You just keep refilling it. All right? That's okay. But look at this. She's, <laughs> she's beautiful. She's going to flatten out. Look at how flat she's gotten. All right, we're going to leave her alone. Isn't that exciting? I think it is. So I'm going to go over today and help him check his eggs and see if anybody else is laid in that box. And I'm taking two big bales of pine shavings over there that I've got. Um, I was going to do another coop thing with it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on his floor of his coop because it's just been raining so much and he doesn't have any bedding. So we're going to get that taken care of. Make sure no hens have laid eggs in there and see if she has kept sitting on those eggs. So yeah, I'm going to do that in a little bit. This morning already, I've been kind of digging in the dirt and transplanting things. So I'll show you that too. Look at this. Miss Pris came out in the yard. This big dude, he was all the way over the side of the house and he came running as soon as he heard his favorite hen clucking. He'd really love to get with her, but it ain't gonna happen. Miss Pris just needs to get some exercise undisturbed by the mean girls who are all out free ranging. Good girl, Miss Pris. I'm so glad to see you out and about. It's okay, Romeo. She'll be fine. I can't believe he heard her. He was all the way over behind the house. <laughs> it's okay, Romeo. It's okay. Look at all her babies. I think they know who her mama is. They're looking up at her. Hi, 
Hi, Miss Pris. Oh, look, 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 look. What's gonna happen? Oh. I think that's a little baby that she gave the kiss to. Is she gonna give her a little kiss again? Nope, she's just getting some exercise. Here's a plan. In all of these, I'm going to plant those multicolored peppers that I needed to transplant. And over here, I'm going to see if I can take two of those cayenne peppers from that other bed, transplant them in some better soil, and see if I can get them to grow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Going chop, chop, chop. Yep, so it's time to plant these. Darn it, I didn't get enough soil. <laughs> yeah, basically one bag will do two bins, so... Those are all multicolored peppers. Yes, there are two plants in each one. I figure after transplanting, one may fail. I can take the other one out. If they both thrive, I'll keep them in until somebody starts suffering. But I've got two more bunches to plant in here. And yes, I did drill holes in the bottom. Remember this here thing? All right, first of all, look at how many roots it's got. And it has, well, it's got some rainwater down in there. I need to actually add some uh, more nutrient water to it um, But you don't want to add too much you need an air gap you need a little space, but look at this It doesn't have a whole lot of leaves on it, but it is already starting To bloom flowers and there's no sign of disease on this at all. Look at there's another bunch here So it's not very big, but you know what it is growing and I may get a tomato or two out of it I've been taking stuff out of this little herb garden and putting it in here I uh, put some basil, because I need more basil. Uh, yep, more basil over, yep, that's basil. And I took the dill out. Um, I know that dill doesn't like, I don't think it likes super bright sun. I can't remember. But down here, it's a little bit more shaded, so hopefully, hopefully I can grow some dill this year. I'm very proud of this. It's time to see if everybody's laid their eggs. There's two down there. I'm gonna see. If I can get Miss Pris off of her mess without her getting too upset and count the eggs. Sorry if I blocked the camera. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Yep. There's always two leg horns in there. That's it. That's it, Pris, sweetheart. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. It's okay, good girl. There you go. There you go. Okay. Alright. Huh. Well, we, we're missing one brown egg. Or that's okay. It's just past 11.30, and I'm pretty sure it's Roxy that hasn't laid yet because she lays a little bit late. I'm going to go ahead and let them out. Anyhow, not all of them, just the big birds so that I can give the little birds their treat while these go out and free range. There you go, chickens. Uh-oh, uh -oh, don't let the littles out. Come on, Roxy. Move it or lose it. Come on, girlfriend. Thank you. I got the bedding in for Mr. Lucas. One of the brown egg layers has laid in one of those other boxes. And so the leghorn has come in. Look at it. She almost looks like she's trying to go broody too. I think she may be in there laying her egg right now. But it's okay. Doesn't matter which hen sets on those eggs. But I'm pretty sure the barred rock will come back. She didn't like me going in there and fussing. So she came out. She got upset. She came out and she's getting a bite to eat and getting some exercise. I'm pretty sure she'll go back in. Tell me what happened this morning. You came out and saw her off the nest. She was out here eating and then... I went in and I come back out. She was back on the nest. Okay, so she was just off for a few minutes then, yeah, probably. Getting something to eat. Cool. Well, we can just leave her alone yep. and uh, let her do what she wants to do. 
Mr. Lucas just called and said that his barred rock got back on the nest after the leghorn laid her egg and hopped off. She went right back to the nest, so all is well. And I figure if for some reason she decides not to keep sitting, I've got that incubator. We could finish out the rest of that hatch using the incubator. So anyway, I think this video has gotten long enough. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.